Okay, this city is so different than any of the other Central American cities I've been to. I mean, I was just in San Salvador, Guatemala City, Antigua, which all had the kind of, you know, stereotypical, like, Central American y feel to it, which I loved. I thought each one of them had its own flavor, had its own fun uniqueness. But being here, this feels very much more like a city that you would find in the United States or in like a, an Argentina. So very, very high tech as well, I'm noticing. And honestly, frankly, a lot fancier and a lot, you know, more well-to-do financially. It seems, or not it seems, definitely a lot more well-to-do in that sense. I've spoken to many people that have been here already, who have traveled here, that are friends, that are family, and I did not hear a single negative word from any of them. So yeah, that is great, great signs. I love seeing all of this tropical plants, the different trees, whether it be the palm trees or these trees with like the foresty leaves. You have the grass that is a very short, yet very thick that they don't have in the Northeast of the US or Europe, actually, frankly, most of the US. So I don't know, when, just for me, when I see plant life like that, I know I'm in the tropics. Overall, it's reminding me a lot of San Juan, Puerto Rico. I guess that has to do just the fact of such heavy U.S. influence. I mean, of course, Puerto Rico being a part of the U.S., but here, yeah, the amount of influence the U.S. has had in developing this area makes sense why they're so similar. If you're wondering when the best time of the year to come is, every month is the same. It's always going to be this hot and this humid. All right, update number one with how I'm doing with humidity. Even though it's 7.30 in the morning, I'm already dripping in sweat. Um, I'm flying an overnight flight back to New York tonight, and I won't have time to shower or anything like that. So with all my sweat, I feel bad for the person sitting next to me, but that's update one. Okay, update number two on heat. It's now officially 10 a.m. Oh my God, I'm sweating so much. It's 89 degrees right now. So beyond humid. It's gonna get up to 93 without the sun cut cut for editing purposes it's gonna get up to 93 without any clouds and right now it's cloudy out honestly like i knew what i was getting myself into i didn't realize it would be this hot state number three it's 1 30 p.m and wow this is getting to me i have had to take many breaks just to sit down i've already drinking like two liters of water and they're all filled again, my water bottles. I'm sweating a lot. Update number four, as I'm in the financial district and all of the top tier hotels, I am doing great. It is now very breezy and I am walking in the shade. So just like that, it's, I feel good. I feel good, but still sweat coming down a little bit as a New Yorker. Not something I'm entirely used to. Now we are in really the peak season for cruises that come here. You have uh, Panama Canal cruises are extremely popular, but for some reason they go through the canal and oftentimes don't actually stop in the city. The reason for that is they really, the city doesn't have enough room for port space and the cruisers aren't willing to pay as much that the city is requesting that you know shipping container ships are willing to pay but sometimes if you're lucky you may stop at cologne which is say a little more in the north but i think in my mind at least if you are on one of those cruises and you just cut through the canal but don't actually step foot in panama city it doesn't count that you've been to panama city or panama just because you've seen it and gone through it the string of street vendors definitely here but it's not as imposing and they aren't as much everywhere else as they are in central america the shopping area is stretching a lot further than i would have expected it's 
like Guatemala City, how it just keeps going on and on for blocks and blocks. I'm on like block six now, and it looks like it's going for a couple more. When you get downtown, it's very different than the skyline where it's just the, you know, big office buildings. You have a much more like colorful context, some blues, some yellows, some greens, and uh, all the colors give it its flavor. And it really adds to kind of like the culture that it brings, you know? Can't get enough of how cool the skyline is. And I really mean it, especially being right here in Casco Viejo. Just the contrast between the old and the new. I really has to be one of my favorite parts because what other Central American city has a true skyline like this? I mean, Guatemala City definitely has one, but it wasn't as expansive and the buildings weren't as modern. So I'm in Calle de los Sombreros, which translated the Hat Street, which that makes perfect sense considering all these. The restaurants and shops here are themed by it. They literally name their stores after it. There's literally a hat store that just has the same types of hats that are strung up along here. This is pretty cool. This is near Plaza Francia. Street art like this adds so much flavor and uh, it just beautifies a city so much, especially when it's incorporated in like quote unquote unconventional ways. Like what other places has hats that are just strong? I'm gonna leave this image up here for a second because it is very anti-American and it's showing all of the different countries that the U.S. has invaded or been a part of coups in the years and how many of these countries the U.S. has really hurt economically, developmentally, and really set back decades. So it's just really interesting to see that. I wonder if that's a sentiment all throughout because obviously the United States has helped out Panama so much, but I wonder if it was to the point where the people feel here that the U.S. encroached too much. There are many stretches that just have really cool, fun restaurants. I'm talking Irish pubs, Irish pubs, Italian, Indian, and they're around the condo area. So yeah, go check it out. Get yourself a nice meal. It's funny, they put turf alongside the road to make it look like it has greenery. But yeah, fake grass. Panama. Panama, Panama, Panama. 